Howdy caddies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're good. Hope you had a good Australia day. We've been flat knack. I've got lots of nice stuff this week. Heaps of gold jewellery, all the rings and watches, and this nice gents Tudor Oyster Rolex. Uh, World War II medals, dog tags, heaps of badges and pins and stuff in that little bag. Lovely old pair of opera glasses over the back and a nice little clock in that case. The carved bone uh, hair cones, lovely. Uh, really nice collections of postcards. These are all Australian ones. These look to be sort of World War I-y type things. More coins over the back. Uncirculated round 50 cent pizzas in there. Uh, these are all MCC, I think, or VFL Park membership medallions. These are cool, all sort of World War I postcards of aviators and aeroplanes and stuff. Nice little Pulsar Divers watch. Lady 70s watches. Uh, Festival of Britain coin. Um, horse racing membership badges. I think there's a Melbourne Cup race book in there as well. Swatch watches. Another funny little lot of postcards. These are lovely as well. A little carved mother of pearl hair combs and belt buckles. Some nice things in the jewellery cabinet. And it's chockers. And these are quite nice as well. A big pair of Gavin Burt. Uh, oil paintings, Peninsula 1, Peninsula 2, really quite nice, lovely sort of purples and pinky colours with the silhouettes of the trees. What else have we got? The big bench, little singer sewing machines, cute with its little cabinet and stuff. Really like this little table, little arts and crafts, sort of oak, Tasmanian oak it'll be, really nice thing. Big Australian school oil painting, hope that you can see it with that bloody reflection. It's sort of typical, it's signed with initials lower right hand corner. I think it'll be DGB or something like that. More postcards, heaps of them in that lot. Nice little lot of jewellery. Gators or World War II sort of gators and binoculars and stuff. Some on patches and badges. Some WWF wrestling cards with good old Captain Lou Albano on the front. There you go. More postcards, they're all sort of girls and ladies and stuff. What else have we got? Some iron on superhero transfers. These are nice. Old sort of nuts or something they look to be made out of. Coins, train sort of reversing keys, these big heavy brass things are. Nice little Limoges musical box. Some more Scanlon's cards, more postcards, more sort of 70s ladies watches. Some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet, or the secondary jewellery cabinet we'll call that. Uh, heaps of cutlery, footy stuff. This is bloody Essendon membership gear from this year. So they're already, already given up. <laughs> some paintings and prints a uh, box of tools and stuff this is a pretty cool rotary exchange student district 9790 australia it's covered in badges and pins and stuff from wherever they went there's all sorts of gear on it kind of cool some nice lot of 78 rpm records printing blocks big boxes of mixed sort of stuff it's a nice watercolour by, I think, George Farrell. What else have we got? Another group lot with an exercise bike and a fishing creel and stuff. Boxes of china, sewing patterns and gear. It's a big horse trough. Shit, I think that's not in the auction. We've got to put that in. A big feed trough. What else have we got? More footy stuff. These are nice, they're chimney pots. And this is really nice as well. Love this old trunk. So it's got it's all the original lift-out trays in it. There's about five or six trays that go all the way down. Sample case. There you go. It's got all the details. Spring self-locking lid support. Really cool thing. Big oodles and noodles down under the table. Boxes of stuff. Collection of toolboxes. Plants. These are cool old sort of papers and directories and things. Big trunk with all kids' toys in it. These are nice, the old sort of Victorian embossed sort of ceiling panels. Little lots of furniture. Rocking chair and a little, little pot cupboard. Gramophone cabinet with a little record player there. Mixed lots of furniture and stuff down the back. Duchess dresser with some little bookshelves, chairs. Some cool cases. I like these old metal cases. And that's one lot and these other ones are another lot. Big lot of kids toys and gear, some nice linen and lace, these are interesting old books, I guess it depends on what you're interested in, 
This is cool, the old curtain rod there with the lovely old porcelain finials. We've put it with a nice Victorian sort of light shade. Some interesting paintings. One there of the three graces is lovely. It's signed lower left, but hard to make out the signature. A little box of sort of mixed bits and bobs. Some Oz pottery and other stuff. A little lot of TG Green. Three watercolours by Rita McLean. Costume jewellery. Linen and lace. That's Gale. Portable TV. <laughs> I like this little sort of ebonised outdoor little bench. Kind of simple and sort of stylish sort of arts and craft design. Really nice. Got all the original bloody cobwebs and shit still on it. <laughs> and this is cool. Big sort of calf metal letterbox. And they're nice as well. Little woven sort of caney baskets. These are cool. Craft Australia magazines from the 1980s. It's got great articles on Milton Moon and all sorts of um, potters throughout. Carl McConnell and all that sort of stuff. Um, boxed Waterford crystal sets. Some art reference books. Some of these Christie's catalogues from New York are pretty amazing. There was one of them that I think only had about 80 lots in the actual auction. I think the lowest price was about $500,000 or something like that. So that is interesting to have a sort of flick through. Um, film gear. There's some really nice paintings this week, guys. Really cool big Tony Woods oil painting. A Paisley shirt. I really like where he signed and dated it on the shirt label. Woods 66. George Winnan Aquatint. South Australian artist. Don't see much of his stuff floating around. It's a nice example. I like this Hogarth engraving. I think it's dated. Where's the date on it? 1764. There you go. Tailpiece or the Bathos. Big Neville Cayley Kookaburra. He's a ripper. What else have we got? Reggie Sultan. Little Hermansburg School watercolour. I uh, really like this Peggy Crombie. She's a National Gallery School student under Bernard Hall and a few of those guys. Ended up painting a bit with George Bell as well. Really nice still life and I like the fact that it's framed under glass. Naomi Naparula, little Aboriginal oil. This is a nice bit. Rosie Napanjimpa, Punyatula artist. It's untitled, but it's kind of a nice. I like the size of it, the shape and the colour. Good thing. What else? Uh, Dora Chapman, little South Australian modernist. Big H.H. Uh, Calvert watercolour there of the quacking duck. What have we got behind it? Peter Glass still life oil. Just needs a little bit of a bit of a clean, but it's a nice thing. That's a good bit as well. This is a Chinese painting on glass. I'm trying to get it into the bloody light so you can see it, but it's not easy. It's amazing detail on this thing. There'll be better images of it on the website. A really nice big thing. Some other nice oriental watercolours I'll show you in a minute. Uh, Star Wars stuff, pretty China, glassware. What have we got around the front here? I like this little sort of oriental style mahogany table with a sort of tray, sort of top around it. Nice little toilet mirror as well. Kind of like the Balinese little stool. A little different sort of masks around the side. This is pretty amazing. Lovely old cedar fitted sort of cabinet. Little drawers and stuff and all the little sort of cupboards open and close and everything. Really nice thing. Victorian credenza. Nice big carver chair. Alright, what else have we got? Cap Cellar, Darth Maul. There you go. He's electronic and he talks. This is a nice big oil painting. I don't think it's Australian. I think it's European, but it's kind of quite nice. She's lovely. There's no signature on it, which is a bloody bugger. But it's well painted. Uh, some shoe lasts, some boot stretches. Big lot of footy cards. Nice big lot. Some cool records. EPNS, Frank Sinatra 78s, nice little Gerard Matsayas oil painting, kind of cool the old TAA case, there you go, the safety light belt there, as worn by Bart Simpson, <laughs> boxed pens, Schaefer, Parker, other good brands, some dolls, there's another nice big Chinese watercolour, heaps of cutlery, nice little collection of silver plate and crystal, some more postcards, Toys, little postcards of Port Arthur in Tasmania, lovely old doll, a couple of nice tins, Japanese woodblock print over the back, cool little boxed Walkman, 
and the two superheroes there as well in their boxes. Noddy and his pals. Boombox is pretty cool, all original and it's mint, mint in its box. Some branding irons, come in handy late on a Friday night. <laughs> and a couple of nice big Chinese watercolours as well. Sort of gent seated there, the dignitary, really well done. It's all sort of signed with a big character mark above his head. Here's a nice old engraving, sort of 18th century. A couple of interesting Australian sort of watercolours, modernist. This one's by Bella uh, Kawadlo, 1948. That one's by, I think it's, I think it's Patrick O'Carrigan, 1963. Kind of like this cubist little beach scene's a bit interesting. Nice thing. I know that the bloody light on it's terrible, but there'll be better pictures on the website. Another early, this is an old lithograph, another 18th century lithograph. The Duke of York, that's him. Really like this lamp base, the lovely uh, Art Nouveau sort of shape design feet on it. Really nice thing, make, really, really nice with a flame shade or something like that on it. A little plasterware sort of woofer dog, some more toys, that guy. <laughs> With a lot of sort of modernist gear at the top here, some Costa Boda and good quality crystal and glass and the melamine as well in amongst. A couple of nice cigarette tins, Duresk and Three Castles I think, or State Express. Cool little group, lot of mix sort of glass and china, some pretty trios, Oz Pottery, Creepy Doll. There you go, giraffes, a sailor and a hippo. It's a nice big box drawn cutlery set, cool portable typewriter and a nice little coloured phone, model kits, some ladies bags, this is a nice lot, the easy sign marker, big sort of letters and stuff like that, and the ink pads and everything off to the side, make up your own signs, model kits, they're all seen sort of service in the RAAF, Canberra, Bomber, you've got the vampire and the little tiger moth, some interesting stamps in those two albums. It's a funny thing, a little sort of nice little arts and craftsy little brass hanging sort of candle thing or something like that we put with a bell and a nice little ebony cup, little foam gliders and stuff, all pretty china, nice little lot of crystal and glass, Thomas the Tank Engine, Magical Mystery Tour, it's a cool old hand coloured sort of photograph of Versailles but it's in a beautiful frame with those lovely sort of little brass corners, really quite nice, some Jackson records. What else have we got? Dalton cabinet plates, some interesting old ephemera from Richmond, big bowl there made in France, more ladies bags. This is a cool bit, this is an old engraving about, uh, I think about 1760, 1770, showing the Endeavour. Uh, they've pulled it aground to make repairs. Uh, it's a cool thing, it's got all the details in the sort of lower right hand corner at the top there. It's a plate out of a book, I think it's out of a French book. Uh, that was done about five years after the English one. Nice big tea service, EPNS. Nice lot of TG Green Cornish ware. Corning ware. I can never remember what it actually is. This is all silver, hallmarked. Australian domestic pottery, Bakewell's. Um, Hoffman. Sort of red punch set's pretty cool over the back. Susie Cooper. Lovely old engraving as well. The birth of Venus. So again, I think it's 19th century. Uh, Miles Johnson art glass vase, more TG Green, nice big lidded Chinese pot. These are all cool, little lots of salt and peps, like the little woofer dog there having a bit of a pee on the bloody fire box or whatever it is. A <laughs> fork and the spoon are fantastic. Funnily enough, they're actually my favourite bits in the auction this week. What else have we got down the bottom here? Here we go. RAAF, or RAF, sorry, forage cup with some epaulettes. Lovely pair of military binoculars. This is a nice World War II Tommy helmet. There you go. Another lovely old engraving, 1770, give or take, showing where the Endeavour was pulled ashore, up near Cape York, the Endeavour River. Really interesting bit again. Got some more nice sort of receipts and stuff from Richmond. Another big lot of TG Green as well. Little flying crackers are cool. Miles Johnson art glass again. Lovely umbrella with the sterling silver hallmarked handle. It's all engraved and decorative. It's a nice bit of mid-century modern Italian, I think. Wedgwood, Victorian, more TG Green. Nice big hand-painted Chinese pot. Lovely little silver tray, all marked. Wembley. These are silver as well. 
uh, caviar dishes, um, Elva Pasco pot over the back, cool old pair of World War II pilot's goggles, there's a lovely old Victorian glove box, uh, another engraving as well, 18th century, uh, Moliere I think it is, Belique, nice little silver collar and earring set, and we've got some nice stuff up the top shelf. Looks like an old Chinese porcelain plate, a pair of Staffordshire Spaniels, another old Chinese cup and saucer, lovely Art Deco clock, West Clocks, some lovely little bits of Moorcroft, little dish, the vase, smaller vase, has got a tiny chip out of the bottom, but a blue texture would fix that up. A nice little Moorcroft one there as well, these two of the vase and the little green dish are the same pattern. Over the back there is the What's It Worth this week. There you go, 1753, it's dated, but it's a bit later. I think it's done in about 1754, 1755. It's a really early map of Australia by Bellin. All right, we actually weren't sure what was going up on the East Coast. And it actually even joins up into Papua New Guinea. It's details in the lower right-hand corner. It's done in French after the English one. Uh, I think the English book was done about 1753. I think this one's probably about 1754, 1755. Original piece. Pretty amazing thing. There you go. That'll do. I could ramble on for another half an hour. You know what I'm like. But we've got shit to do. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you Thursday night. Should be a grandest vivita.